Hi, it's Maite Gomez Rajon, the founder of Art Bites. I have been teaching the Taste of Art classes at the Huntington for over a decade, and I am so excited to be able to share nuggets of culinary history and recipes inspired by the Huntington's collection. Today's recipe for scones is inspired by the 1740 conversation piece, The Gascoigne Family by Francis Heyman. The painting depicts a family at home, at leisure, drinking tea. Tea, the quintessential British beverage, is actually a relative latecomer to British shores. It didn't actually arrive until the mid 17th century from its native China. It was sold in London coffee houses as making the body active and lusty and also advertised as preserving the body to extreme old age. Everybody wanted their hands on tea. The problem with these coffee houses is that women were not allowed to enter. If you were a woman and you wanted tea, you had to send a husband, um, a servant, a male companion, but you yourself could not enter. This changed in 1706 when the owner of Tom's Coffee House had the, revol the revolutionary idea of allowing women, unchaperoned women, to enter his coffee house. He also is known for perfecting tea blends. He had the finest tea blends in all of London. They were so fine, became so popular, that he decided to close his coffee house and focus all of his energy on selling teas. Tom's full name, Thomas Twining of Twining's Tea. The tradition of afternoon tea that is so beloved today actually dates to the reign of Queen Victoria when Anna, the Duchess of Bedford, one of her ladies in waiting, decided to start this, this new meal in between lunch and dinner to bridge the sinking feeling that she felt in the middle of the afternoon. Queen Victoria brought this tradition to her home in London um, as the afternoon tea, which consisted of a pot of tea, um, some light finger sandwiches, some cookies, some biscuits, and of course, the beloved scones. Anything dainty that could be eaten in just a couple of bites. So with that, I leave you with a recipe for orange blueberry scones. It's my favorite scone recipe, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. The recipe is at artbites.net. Thank you for watching. See you next time.